Hey, it's Bassie. Welcome back to Bassie's Learning Land. <gasps> Whoa, look at what we have here. Today we're going to learn a lot of th different things. We're going to learn about numbers, we're going to learn about colors, shapes, and even about how to tell time. So don't forget, if you like this video or any of our other learning videos, don't forget to give us a thumbs up or to subscribe. All right, so I'm going to start off with our smallest number that I see here. Ooh, it's right here in an orange color. Yeah, it's the number one. We're going to look for an orange colored shape, which has one, two, three, four different curves on it. It's called a quarter foil. So I'm going to look for an orange shape which that has the number one that is called a quarter foil. Do you see where it is? Oh, you do? Oh, thank you. It's right here. We found the number one, the orange number one in a quarter foil. Now, after number one, we're going to go to the number two. The number two is in the blue color. Yeah. And this shape is called a parallelogram. It's called a parallelogram because there are two sets of lines that go in the same direction and never touch. Take a look. This line goes up and down, up and down. But so does this one right here, up and down, up and down. But these two will never touch because they go to the same direction. Now, same can be said about this one. Look, this one goes that way. And so does this line. Yeah, they're parallel because they're almost side by side to each other, aren't they? All right, let's look for that number two in blue in the shape of a parallelogram. Is it on this side? Well, no, the only blue color shape is this one. That's not a parallelogram. Oh, <gasps> well, it's right here, isn't it? This is the blue number two parallel. Well, well done, parallelogram. All right, number three, we got one, two, and three. Three. Number three, what color are you? Oh, it's in green, but of course. Now, this is interesting. That number three is paired perfectly with that shape because this shape has one, two, three sides. It also has one, two, three vertices. Mm -hmm. Perfect planning. All right, so the number three is in green. Green, and it's a triangle because tri means three. Awesome. All right, where is that triangle? <gasps> Ooh, I see a green number three shape that is a triangle. Oh, whoa, look at this one. We have the one, two, three, four. Hmm. Well, again, it's perfectly paired because look, this shape also has one, two, three, four sides and one, two, three, four vertices. Hmm. It's a shape with four sides and four vertices. Okay, and what color is it? But of course, it's also in blue. Take a look at that. Fantastic. Oh, I remember seeing that. Remember, we were looking for a blue shape before, and we found that this one over here was the correct color, a blue. It was not the right shape, uh, the number, but it was the number four. It's a square. A square has four sides and four vertices, and it's in blue. <gasps> Ooh, look at this one. One, two, three, four, five. 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 The number five is in the color purple. It's a purple number five. Hmm. Okay. So this is interesting because this shape has one, two, three, four, five sides and one, two, three, four, five vertices. This shape is called a pentagon because penta means five. So it's a shape that has five sides and five vertices. Hmm. And in this case, that pentagon is in purple. Oh, 
<gasps> What's that? It's on this side. <gasps> you are fantastic with shapes. That's the number five. So we have the one, two, three, four, five. Six is next. Of course, it's in the color red. Hmm. Well, that's the number six. Let's look at this shape. This shape has one, two, three, four, five, six sides. It also has one, two, three, four, five, six vertices. All right, let's take a look for that one. Oh, I don't think it's over here. I don't see any red colors. So it's over here between these two numbers. Oh, you are fantastic. Look, there's the number six. This shape is called a hexagon. Hexa means six. So this is the hexagon. And you might have seen this shape as a stop sign. Yeah, take a look at that. Whoa, it's a hexagon. Ooh, and we've done one, two, three, four, five, six, and the number seven is next. This shape hmm, doesn't quite look like a circle. It's a little squished, isn't it? It's in the color orange. Hmm. Very interesting. All right, so it's the orange color. Let's see, and it's in this shape that is an oval. <gasps> well, I only see one orange shape left. It's right here. There's the number seven. That's seven in an oval shape in orange. Hmm. All right, so we did the number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight all right the eight is in the color blue well done it's in the color blue that shape is going to be blue let's look at the shape i wonder what it is one two three four five six seven eight eight sides let's count the vertices one two three four five six seven eight as well hmm well i know that eight you could also say octa oh i know it's probably called an octagon of course and it's in blue and it has the number eight on it oh you see it well done it's right here fantastic we're almost there friends one two three four five six seven eight and nine nine is the next shape it's in the color green of course it's in the color green well this shape is quite interesting it also has four sides <gasps> just like the square in the parallelogram it also has four vertices doesn't it yeah just like the parallelogram and the square hmm. but this is quite different though because look at these lines if i would continue they're going to cross each other yeah so it's not a parallelogram and well all of these sides are different sizes they're not the same sizes take a look this one seems longer than these ones and then this one's longer and this one's shorter Whoa, what's going on with this one so it's not a square this one is called a trapezoid this shape is called a trapezoid yeah so the number nine we're looking for a green colored shape that is a trapezoid with the number nine on top oh, here it is oh there we go perfect oh so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten oh this is interesting because now it doesn't only have one numeral it has two numerals it's very important that i see that the number one comes first one and a zero it's the number 10. The 10 is in a blue color, of course. Now, quite interesting, this one also has four sides. Hmm. Has four vertices, too. Yeah. But it kind of looks different from the trapezoid, the square, or the parallelogram. Yeah. Yeah, it kind of does. It twinkle, twinkle, little. Yeah. It looks like a diamond in the sky yeah it's called a diamond but guess what you could also say it's a rhombus a rhombus so let's look for a rhombus just like that or a diamond shape that has the number 10 
one goes first and then the zero. It's in the color blue. Oh, Ooh, it was trying to kind of hide from us. Look, take a look at that. There's the number 10. We did the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're almost there. We're on the number 11. It has the numerals one and one, 11. Okay, so I see it is in purple. Whoa, <gasps> it's another four-sided shape. Yeah, look at that. So I could see that it has two short sides and two long sides. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it kind of reminds me like the parallelogram, except these lines are not on a diagonal. Take a look, those are diagonals. These are just straight lines, okay. It's in the purple color. Oh, here it is. It's a rectangle. That's the shape. It's a rectangle. Of course it is. And it's in purple with the number 11 on it. Oh, last but not least, let's continue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. Wonderful. It's the number 12. And the number 12 has the numerals of 1 and 2. Hmm, the number 12. All right, it is in red and it also looks very interesting. I'm pretty sure you know what shape that is. It's a star. <gasps> we did it! We found the red star with the number 12 on it. How beautiful. No, oh, and I see that this little friend has two hands. It has, the clock has two hands. There's a short hand, a short, small hand, and there's a long hand too. Here, this small hand on any clock tells you it's the hour, and the long hand tells you what minute it is. Uh-huh. So, we're going to take a look. So if, oh, look, if the hour hand is pointing to one of these numbers, it means that's the hour. So we're going to ignore that one. If this hand is pointing here, that means it's the 12th hour. Yeah. What if we move it over here? What hour is it now? Yeah, it's pointing to the number four. It's the fourth hour, hour number four. Now, let's take a look because there's a second one. This hand tells us what minute it is. Yeah, and take a, look, take a look at all these little bubbles. There's some bubbles here. It gives you more information. This little bubble can either be a zero or a 60. Mm -hmm. It could be zero minutes. So if you go like that, the small hand points to the 12th. It means it's a 12th hour, but there are no minutes. It's 12 o'clock. Yeah. All right. So then to help us out every time we go to an hour or go to a number, it, you count up by five. So there's one minute, two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, five minutes. And then, so there's five minutes here. And then we keep going. One minute, two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, ten. Because here are five minutes, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, and 60. Wow. So what's really interesting is it's very important that you practice counting, especially by twos. So two, four, six, eight, and so on. You count up by fives, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, and so on. And by tens, 10, 20, 30, 40. In this case, counting up by fives is super important because if I know, let's pretend the time is like that. Well, I know that the hour, the small hand is pointing to the one. So it's one hour. It's one and how many minutes? 
Well, I could count up by fives. Five, ten, fifteen. It's one hour with fifteen minutes. Yeah, I don't have to spend time counting each and every single minute because I have been practicing counting by fives. All right, let's practice again. Let's do that. Mm. Well, first I'd like to take a look at the small hour hand. This one is pointing to the number nine. So it's the ninth hour and how many minutes? Well, this is pointing to that five. So I'm gonna count up by five, ready? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. It's nine, 25. Whoa! All right, last one. Hmm. Let's try that. All right. First, let's look at the hour hand. It's pointing to the, yeah, the small hour hand is pointing to the 11. And the minute hand is pointing to the 9. So it's 11 hours. Well, how many minutes? Well, let's count up by fives. You start here. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. It's 11, 45. Well done. And just like that, telling time is super easy. Even if the time was on these little dots, you could just say it's 11 and 45. And then it's on the second dot after 45. So it's 45, 46, 47. It's 11, 47. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. You don't have to be scared, but you do have to keep practicing. And I know you're going to do a fantastic job. Well, that was really fun. Don't forget, if you love this learning, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will learn with you very soon. Bye. See ya soon.